Hey YouTube, a lot of you have seen Photoshop's new content aware fill option recently and today I'm going to show you that this technology has actually been out for a while as an extension for GIMP called Resynthesizer. So we're just going to open up GIMP here. Alright, and we're going to open up an image. This one. Alright, and you see we have the same picture right here. And so what we're going to do, and you see we have these trees and trash and the tree and everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our lasso tool. And we're just going to zoom in here and select this tree. And then I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to filters, enhance, and then I'm going to go to heel selection and 15 radius. And it goes away. We're going to do that here and repeat on all these little bits of trash in the foreground here. Like right here. Over here. Right here, this little divot. Right here. And you'll see it works on shadows as well, like right here. And also for these two bits of trash right here. Let's say I get the lasso tool. And this one. Alright, now we're going to work on these sunspots right here. I'm going to just zoom in. Oh, we we'll get that spot. I'm just going to zoom in right here and select the sunspot or the uh, lens flare right here. Right here, too. and up here near the sun. And now for that tree. Now, I don't have the tree selected like the person in the Photoshop tutorial have, so I'll just have to uh, try my best to select this tree. So get the lasso tool and just work our way around this tree right here. Just a loose selection right here. And we're going to right click, filters, enhance, heal selection. And we're going to go for a radius of about 50 since it's a bigger selection. So we can get that sky in there. And voila, that's pretty good. We might need to touch that up a bit, but uh, pretty good right there. We're going to save this. And our next picture, which is the road picture. Yeah, right here. So, same thing. We're just going to take our lasso tool and we're going to go around the road right here. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the heel selection tool and 50 sounds good. And voila, that's pretty good. It's a nice start. All right, so save, and we're going to open up our last image, which is the panorama. And here we are. Now, the thing about GIMP's resynthesizer is that it's not as elegant as Photoshop's uh, content aware fill. So I'm going to do this top part up here first because if I did all the white spots at once it would just fill in sky and all of them. So I'm going to take these top parts up here and do them first. See right here. And voila. And now we're going to go down here to where the ground is and do that separately. See if we can get anything. Excellent. And now this part over here. same thing and it's pretty good except for that side over there where the mountain is so we're just gonna circle that and do it again and still no but that's good and we'll save that so that's resynth the uh, that's resynthesizer now I'm gonna exit out and I'll show you what we've done to these images so you can compare them. So uh, here's our first image. You'll see. 
Alright, first image and turned into that. From this to that. Alright, and next image, the road here to there. And our sky. So I'll put some links in the sidebar for you to download GIMP and the resynthesizer tool.